Baruch here with GenConnect.com at the Sundance Film Festival, and I'm joined today by the one and only Morgan Spurlock. Thank you for being here. No, my pleasure. Thank you. So first pressing question. We're here at Sundance, lots of snow. Boarding or skiing? Uh, I grew up skiing, but I snowboard now. And uh, my little boy who I brought with me uh, to his first Sundance, he's five years old. Uh, he is in his first ever snowboard lesson as we speak. So it's kind of awesome. And what, do you have, what, what do you think? You think it's going well so far? I don't know. I like, it's one of those where I did the right thing and I dropped him off and left. That way I wouldn't have to like, you know, be there for the crying or the unhappiness. And, and so hopefully with the other kids, there'll be a lot of encouragement, a lot of positive reinforcement. So when I see him later, I'll know. It's a team effort. Team effort. That's right. Now, I know that you're promoting the idea of the three-minute documentary film, the short film. Yeah. Tell me what can the impact of a three-minute film be on the audience? Well, I mean, I think the what we've learned with Cinelon, and that's the, the company we started a couple years ago to create these three-minute movies, is that, uh, you know, anybody will give a three-minute movie a chance. You know, it's one round of boxing. You may never watch a 90-minute documentary, but you will watch a three-minute film if somebody says, hey, you should check this out. So for us, we really wanted to use it as an, as an introduction to a larger conversation, you know, as almost like a uh, as almost like an, an appetizer into a, a, you know, maybe a larger doc palette. You know, at some point, maybe it'll entice people to want to see more. But the evolution of Technology, do you think that the consumer or the audience's attention span has shortened? Completely. I mean, I, th I, I even see it in myself, you know, with the amount of time where if I'm reading an article, I'll get to like paragraph five or six and then start scanning my way through. And it's like, what, what is wrong with me? You know, it's like the, the time of me wanting to be engrossed and engaged is fleeting. But it's because we all live like this all the time. I mean, it's, it's difficult. But I think uh, something like this with Cinelon and with Focus Forward, the whole initiative we're doing with GE, I think it will continue just to get people engaged in, in these movies and hopefully um, just make them more popular. Tell me about your new project with Yahoo. Yeah, it's incredible. It took us uh, it took us seven years to get this show made. It's called The Failure Club. If people go to yahoo.com and click on screen at the Yahoo screen section, they'll be able to see it. Uh, it's amazing. We follow seven people over the course of an entire year. We shoot for 52 weeks, and we kind of just tell the story of them each chasing the one thing that they've been afraid to do their whole lives. And it becomes basically a support group to, you know, to fulfill your dreams, and it's beautiful. Was there ever a moment in your life that you were afraid of doing something and you persevered through it? Because you seem like a man who's not really afraid of much. No, I mean, there's times where you get afraid of a lot of things. Before I made Super Size Me, uh, I'd been evicted from my apartment. I was about $250,000 in credit card debt because I was using credit cards to keep my company going. I was sleeping in a hammock in my office. And at that point, I was so in debt, I was like, what's another $50,000? You know, who cares? And, and then we got the idea to make Super Size Me. We made that film and everything changed, you know? So... You know, the question I tell a lot of people is like, how far are you willing to go to fulfill, you know, your wildest dreams and your, you know, your wildest hopes? And you have to, you have to be willing to go as far as it takes. And I was willing to go all the way into bankruptcy and beyond if I had to. So what's your best piece of advice for people who are struggling through that moment where they're afraid and they do really want it, but they can't get through that barrier? I mean, I, I tell people all the time, you know, especially in the entertainment business, it's a very hard business. You know, it's a hard business to find your place in. It's a hard business to find a career in. But if you are persistent, if you stick around, if you're tenacious, you'll find a place and you will make it. You know, that it is literally a business that is built on hanging around. And, you know, Woody Allen said, you know, 50% of the film business is showing up. And it's true. So long as you keep showing up, somebody's going to say, you know what? We should give that guy a job. Let's hire him. Let's give her, you know, uh, an opportunity. So, you know, for me, it's, it's don't give up. Keep going and, you know, keep the faith. You have to believe in you more than anything else. Well, thank you, Morgan Spurlock. And I hope your son gets through that boarding lesson <laughs> in one piece. And for more with Morgan Spurlock, be sure to check out GenConnect.com.